See, that's one of the things about this situation. Because the police and animal control kept fighting over who was supposed to take it, there was never an actual police report filed until quite a while later, and even then it was with animal control. The media wouldn't take the story without the police report, but I can't file a police report, aside from the animal control report, an actual police report unless they would understand what the statute fell under, which is ARS 132910, and that would be section 10, and then there's another section that specifically addresses letting your dog interfere with or injure a service dog. And despite being shown those statutes, they kept fighting and saying because it was a dog that was involved, animal control had to do it. But animal control can't do anything with that statute. And because there was this constant back and forth, the media never picked up the story. So all I have is an Instagram highlight showing my side of the story and showing some of the support that we received around that time. It's way back in my highlights, but if you scroll all the way over... You'll see it is the first highlight I ever made. We have the attack, and then we have the support that I got afterwards, and you can see some of the updates there. And then if you scroll all the way to the beginning of my profile, it is literally some of the first videos I ever posted. This situation is exactly why I have this account now. I started this account hoping TikTok would do its thing and put pressure on them so that they could make sure that that dog is not brought to another event, make sure that they're operating safely, make sure that a change was made so this didn't happen to anybody else. But of course, a brand new TikTok account, it didn't go anywhere. Nobody got attention on it, nobody changed anything, and it ended up just falling through the cracks and no justice was served.